Hi, my name's Chris Wooten. Today, I'd like to tell you how to regulate your sand picture. Now, with the sand picture, you have two jobs. You have to turn it over. You have to get those bubbles to go all the way across. When you do that, then the sand will fall between the bubbles to create the mountains and valleys and dunes. Now, if you turn these over and you don't get the bubbles to go all the way across, well, if there's nothing to hold up the sand, there's nothing to hold up the sand. So when you turn these over, make a conscious effort to get the bubbles to go all the way across. Now, one of the things you'll learn about a sand picture is water evaporates. It's one of the laws of nature. When your water evaporates, at some point, your air is going to get bigger. Now, I've set this one up purposely so it has, well, too much air. You see, when you turn this over, the air is so strong, the sand will never be able to go through there because there's too much air. So on this one, we're going to need to take out a little bit of air. And conversely, this is one I've regulated the other way, so there are not a lot of bubbles in here. In fact, you can see the bubbles aren't going to go all the way across. So that's the common sense rule. If you turn it over and you can't get those bubbles to go all the way across, well, it's time to add a little bit of air. And what's going to happen more frequently when the water evaporates, your air is going to get bigger, the sand is not going to be able to go through because there's too much air. So you'll see here, there's an air hole here. There's an air hole here. Most of our sand pictures come with at least two air holes. Now let me show you this. This is the injector. This comes with every sand picture you purchase. It has a blunt needle. So if we want to add air, so I've added air into the injector, and I'm gonna put it into the air hole. Now if I need to add air, that's how I, now that's a lot of air. I'm never gonna, the sand's never gonna go through with that much air. So I'm gonna take out a little bit of air. Whoops, I took out too much air and I never take out water. That's how you add air. That's how you take out air. What you wanna do is get enough air so that all the bubbles are going all the way across. Well, the first time you do that, that might be difficult. This is the air scale. Every sand picture you purchase comes with an air scale. So on here, you'll notice all of the different sand pictures that we offer. Now I'm holding the horizon, so I'm only going to look for the horizon line. That's the top line here on the air scale. What I'm going to do is put this into the picture. Now do you see all the different lines as you go down here? I want to point this towards the ceiling. If I need to add air, that's how I add air. If I need to take out air, that's how I take out air. Now putting the air scale right to where the glass meets the wood, I want to see, so this is my line right here that I'm aiming for. That's too much air. That's not enough air. What I want to do is put the water line directly on that horizon line. And when I do, I take it out, I turn it over, I get my bubbles to go all the way across. At that point, the sand falls between the bubbles to create the mountains and valleys and dunes. Now, this is the horizon size. Let me show you over here. This is our wall mount movie collection. You'll see this one right here, the sand's not moving. Now, I started creating a great little pattern down there on the bottom, but at some point, the too much air got to be too much air and the sand couldn't go through. So I'm gonna show you on this one right here. Do you see that there's an air hole here? Now, it has an air hole over here, right next to the KB signature. If we wanna add air, now it's the same deal. If you need to add air, that's how you add air. Okay, that's a lot of air. We're gonna take out a little bit of air. That's how you take out air. Now again, I'm gonna show this to you. We are going to go with the movie small, which is this piece right here. I'm gonna put it right up into the corner of the frame, put it right here on the glass. That's how I add air. This is the movie small. I'm gonna be aiming for that direction right there. I want my water line right on that line right there. Now this is the wall mount movie. One of the fun things with this, it comes with the wall mount. We give you the screws, we give you the drywall anchors, the swivel's pre-attached. You put it on the wall, you never take it off the wall, you swivel it across. Now remember our two jobs? You get the bubbles to go all the way across. At that point, the sand is gonna fall between the bubbles to create the mountains and valleys and dunes. Lastly, let me show you our screening. Screeny's nice, it has four different holes. This is the easiest of all the ones to regulate because of the four different holes. Same, same, if you need to add air, and I'm gonna add the air first on this one. That's how you add the air. On the screening, you'll notice right here at the very top is the screening line. Now it's got a cutaway, so you can cut away if you want to. I don't think you need to. You put it right up into the corner so it configures with the frame. 
Oh, I've got a lot too much air there. There we go. And when we're done, we turn it over and we enjoy our sand picture. Now a sand picture is going to need to be regulated, maybe every seven to 10 days, depending on different variables. The key thing is look at the bubbles. If you get the bubbles to go all the way across, so it's creating the mountains, the valleys, and the dunes, you're gonna be loving your sand picture. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this video and have a nice day.